Okay. Then at that time, we want to get back here. Now, when you hit his backhand, what's going to happen to the ball up here? Where the ball is really low. If the ball is really low, you bring his leg down here, and he still scoop shot him. The ball is really high. David, what would you do with high format? Make impact. So you make impact, come through. Now, if you hit a one handed backhand, same concept, stay down. On the higher one, you hit your slice. Ideally, you wouldn't get in this position, but sometimes you do. You have a high prep. Use your left hand. It's going to be a high ball. Shoulder turn. Hold the shoulder. Then you start to drop the racket head. Watch the butt cap on my racket. It actually points to the ball, and I'm going to flick it around. But I'm not flicking my wrist. My wrist, I'm turning my whole hand over. Watch the contact point in front. I'm slightly off balance. But look how far in front I'm going to make impact and come through the ball. It's about a chest high ball. You make it square on impact. I use the left arm as a balancing method. So that's why the left arm comes out. This next shot is not quite as high as this one. I'm trying to catch the ball a little earlier. So I'm hitting it on chest high. I'm not letting the ball come all the way up. You want to transition weight from your back foot to your front foot as you hit this shot. Same motion. Notice the racket angle. Because what's going to happen is let's follow that racket angle throughout the whole shot. Contact slightly below the shoulder. More my, by my chest. And watch the frame of my, my frame goes up. It goes from a down to up motion. And then I fall through all the way out. 